Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. Today I wanted to do a little review on this couch bed bench sold by RB Components. So this is my Ford Transit van that I've been slowly building out the last couple of weeks. And I decided to put one of these couch bed systems in there for a couple different reasons. First off, I'll show you how it works. I'll show you the dimensions of it. And I'll show you one thing that I think they could have done a lot differently to make this couch bed work a little bit better. All right, so as you can see right now, it is in couch mode. It's pretty awesome. The dimensions, as I'll show you, you got about a little over 18 inches to sit on. Backrest is about 16 inches or so. The length of the couch or the whole system, I should say. So right here, if you're going right on to the mattress, it's a little over 76 inches. That's six foot four. If you go to the outside of these little brackets here, it's 78 and a half. Just for your own purposes, if you were to be putting this bed in your own van. So as you can see right now, it's in couch mode. It does three different things. This mode, and you can flip this thing just like that, kick the legs out of it, hold it all the way down, and bam, you have bed mode. These were made to put into like those toy hauler trailers and um, different systems like that, but they work great in these vans because it has multi, uh, multi functions. That's the second mode there. And the third mode I'm about to show you is just kind of the storage mode to store it out of the way. The whole thing just lifts up just like that. It is super simple. It really is a great design. R&B Components does not make this system, uh, but they do sell this system. So you could possibly find it in other places. They were just local, um, just a half an hour drive away, almost near LA for me. Obviously, all of these legs have these little click buttons. You can click in and push them down out of the way. These top ones go like this. So it's all out of the way. A couple of them are a little tricky to push. That is one thing about it. But over time, you get it, and it probably just kind of needs to work, work its own kinks out. So RV Components does include a little strap system, which you can kind of strap around this bracket here and attached to your wall so the bed obviously doesn't fall over when you're driving. One of the reasons I want to put this bed in is because I like to do some dirt bike riding, so I wanted to fit a couple dirt bikes in here. All right, so I'm gonna show you the one problem. Actually here, I'll give you another couple little dimensions while I have the bed up like this. So while the bed is in the up position, let me get my tape out. Right now it is about 50 inches tall, it looks like. And let me flick it. Oops. Now let me flick it back to um, bed mode and I'll show you the width of the bed. And then I'll show you the one problem with this system. So right now that's that bed mode. So the whole mattress itself is about 39 inches if you can see that so yeah it is kind of a single sleeper you could definitely fit two people on here you know if you really like to snuggle um the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna like kind of make a nice flat piece here to give me an extra eight inches or so to fit two people for sure so the one problem with this system which i'm about to show you right here is this is the brackets it comes with stock and I upgraded, I think it's another 30 or 40 bucks to their quick release system. So if you can tell in this, let me push that out of the way. You can actually just lift the whole thing up like this and the whole bed comes off. Genius, genius idea. I love it. That's half the reason I got the bed. But the problem is that sometimes when you're sitting on it and the thing's wiggling and stuff, this thing wants to kind of pop up like that, if that makes sense. And it's really loud and annoying. So this is my hack. I bought these cotterless pins, they call it. They have those little um, balls in there that you can push as well and or they compress when you get it into the hole. And what I did is I actually went back there. If you can see my little hole and I drilled a hole 
at the very bottom right here. So now all I can do is put the little cotterless pin in there. Push it in there nice and tight. And look at this. The thing's not going anywhere. So that is my little hack for this bed. Something that I think RB components should include with their system. Really don't know why they don't. Um, it's dead simple. Those things are 10 bucks at Home Depot. So little things like that once in a while that I kind of want to, you know, uh, voice my opinion about and show you if you were interested in this bed system, I can put a link in the bio so you can have a look at this um, if you want it for your own uh, bed. Sorry, for your own van. I want this bed for your own van. Um, they do make one other size bed. This is the 76 inch long bed. They make a 58 inch one, I believe. So that could be in case you don't want to take up this much room and you want to bring the bed back here. And then they make the bench set up so you can have like a, a couch on one side and then just a bench. And I think they both might fold out of the way. This is the charcoal cloth. I really love the look. Um, if you can tell what I'm kind of doing here is once this backrest is folded back, I'll have a nice big space back here. This is actually going to be a countertop. So you actually see back here, I'll have a nice big space to store all my pillows and stuff. I'm going to carpet all that and, you know, it's all going to be finished obviously in the next couple days here, but all the pillows and all the um, blankets will be out of the way and uh, I'm not getting sand on them or not getting in the way or anything on the bed. So that is my little hack for the uh, RB Components couch bed system. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And also check out in the description a link to Renergy, a uh, solar company I work with that sells solar panels, batteries, inverters, um, charge controllers, all kinds of good stuff. And there's a little uh, discount in there for you if you're looking to purchase any products from them. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.